Okay, hi everybody. Um, happy Valentine's Day week. Um, this is Jan Lee, your stampinscrapbooker.com. Um, just getting new to this video making and doing a bit of a trial and try not to be too picky or too hard on myself, but uh, because it's uh, finding the time to do it and working out the kinks of having the memory for the video, etc. It's all been a good time. Um, but it's made me kind of procrastinate on actually doing something. So I figured let's just give it a go. So, um, a good friend of mine at Kay's mom, she's um, one of my uh, faves there on YouTube, is uh, always said, if you make something, video it. So um, today I decided I needed to whip up a cute little Valentine for my hubby for tomorrow. Um, and I had spent so much time focusing on Paper Pumpkin and the kids and everything else that I realized I didn't do anything for him. So super simple. I used this month's January 2017 uh, Paper Pumpkin stamp set. Um, and if you did the Paper Pumpkin, you know that we did use the Happy Valentine's Day and the um, the heart uh, shape around the size of the hearts that came. Um, anyway, so what I decided to do was I decided to use a couple of the stamps that we didn't use in the actual Paper Pumpkin. So I used the uh, solid heart there. Um, and I used inside of this for the silhouette, I used, um, sorry, inside of for the sentiments, I used I adore you and you're my person. Um, and they also came in the stamp set. So super cool, cute, itty bitty tiny stamp set, which has so many uses. Um, I used my sweetheart punch. And uh, of course I used my real red to match my real red cardstock. Um, I will say big disclaimer that um, this particular DSP is from last year. So um, if you have any of this kicking around from last year, stamped, uh, stacked with love, I had a little bit of it uh, saved up because I really enjoyed it. So that particular stack is not available right now, but again, whatever, use whatever Valentine's kind of love paper you have, um, anything would work. Uh, I literally just layered those two pieces. Um, I used some of our Stampin' Up! metallic thread in the silver. So that's that guy right there. Um, I've fallen in love with that whole metallic thread thing. It used to scare me. I will be honest. I stayed away from it because I had no clue how to get this to do that. Um, and pretty simply put, um, I literally take it um, and I'm going to show that real quick here so we have something to show you. Take my punch, punch out the heart. Okay, I'm not even going to stamp it. I'm just going to show you what I do to attach the thread to give it that look. I put a little bit of adhesive on the back. I take the thread. Sorry, it's just kind of stuck there. Um, I literally just take it, guys, and stick it right on to the uh, the adhesive. Sorry, I'm going to cut this off because I shredded that end a little bit. Uh, I take it, I stick it on like this. I take my finger and kind of use it as to make the loops. Again, there is no way to do this wrong. That's kind of the best part. So you can do lots, you can do a little, cut it off, and away you go. So maybe I'll just stick that on there as an extra decoration. Cool. All right, so that's as simple as it is when attaching your metallic thread, because I know a lot of people stay away from the metallic thread because they're afraid of it and they don't know what to do. I can tell you that was me for a long, long time. So um, I then attached my heart with um, some dimensionals. Um, I did another heart inside with this is the Happy Valentine's Day from the stamp set um, and these are there as well. So my card is ready for my hubby um, and then I stamped this one on the envelope just to kind of do an extra there. I did use the Whisper White ink as well. Um, we tend to, uh, I honestly am not a very big user of that either so this was wild and crazy of me to do this so um, but I really liked those little stamps. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, the other thing that um, you could also use is one of our new stamp sets um, in the occasions catalog, which is the Falling For You. Um, and I actually, um, that's where the You're My Person comes from. So the I Adore You is in the Paper Pumpkin, but the You're My Person, person is in the Falling For You stamp set. So um, that's pretty much everything, guys. Just wanted to show that to you. Um, would love to hear comments. I know you're going to notice that this is the absolutely very first video I've uploaded. Um, so again, I'm trying not to be too picky or hard on myself. Just going to go with it. Um, and yeah, so you can guys can find me. Uh, Facebook is uh, Stampin' with Jan Lee. Um, I'll post some links um, at the bottom and my blog is yourstampinscrapbooker.com. Thanks so much guys. Bye.